G'day Taurus, welcome to TJ Jared and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, eh? It is a general reading, not a private reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. All decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box. Alright, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy. Come in towards Taurus, please. Two more, please. One more. Oh, it's gone on the floor. Clarifiers. Hope you all had a good weekend or are having a good weekend wherever you may be. Whenever you may be watching this. <laughs> Hope you had a good one. Alright. Let's get the clarifiers. Oh, it's getting toasty in here now. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Two. Oh, God. Cards are bending and bouncing all over the place. Hmm. And card number three. <laughs> okay, just one for that one day. All right, let's see what's going on. We have let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Mm. With the two of pentacles, they don't know. They're trying to stay balanced and just let this unfold naturally, but they're mm, in two minds about whether they should try and control the situation or not. Uh, I don't really like that. Yeah. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, we have, ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Temperance. So, they were trying to call you in for something long-term, stable, committed here. Family. Together. But they know they've got to be patient. Strength. And be strong. <laughs> and be brave. <laughs> the World Cup. Wow. Three major arcana here. In a row. The World Card. Four of Wands. Mm. You're closing out the old cycle to have something stable in the beginning. Four of Swords. Oh, two fours. Four of Swords. And Ten of Wands. <clears throat> yeah, because healing from this will be a massive burden to them. And doing nothing is a burden to them. Yeah, nothing happening here. Them doing nothing is really heavy on them. They want this stability to begin, like something stable between you two. And this cycle of you not being by their side to end. But they're trying to stay strong and patient here because they do want something long term with you. Yeah, I think they're just getting impatient. And they, they want something to happen, so rather than just letting it unfold the way it's meant to, they're thinking about trying to rush this a bit. Yeah, because this nothing happening, well, yeah, for them it's like they've got a Relax, take it easy. No, they don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, 
What is happening now? <laughs> you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So they want this love with you. They think you deserve love. They deserve love. You are both lovable. Stable beginning. They want this to start. Re for real. I'm hearing for real. Like, pentacles are real, solid. It's not a thought. It's not an emotion. And it's not uh, a driven, passionate energy or action or anything. It's something solid, stable, grounded. Yeah, you, know, you can grab it. You can hold it. You can feel it. It's real. They feel they deserve this stable beginning with you. That this, yeah. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> they don't want to wait. They feel this is what this is what they want. This is what they want it to be. They're calling you in for this. Let's begin. Begin this as something real. Okay. It's at the bottom. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I think that there could be issues with their family about, um, with commitment. Could be their parents couldn't be committed to each other. So, yeah, something with their upbringing, something with their, that they haven't, yeah, well, they want to heal that brokenness that they feel from their family, and they think you could be the one, that they could have this, you know, long-term commitment, as I said before, family. My stomach making noises. Playfulness. They don't want to play around. They don't, yeah. Yeah, they don't want to play around. They can do that on their own, is what I'm hearing. But they don't want that. They think you could be the one that could... <clears throat> the family is, yeah. I think they come from a broken family and they don't want that. They want something that's not a broken family. They think you could be the one. They don't want to play around. Is safe for you to love. Yeah. It's for themselves. You know, within themselves, they want a safe. A relationship that's solid and grounded and stable and, yeah. King and Queen of Pentacles energy. For sure. They're the ones that live in that Ten of Pentacles house. But it worries me a bit because... The only way the Ten of Pentacles works with the King and Queen of Pentacles, if they, you know, the King and Queen of Pentacles, but before they were married, they were both nine, nine of Pentacles people. Single, stable, grounded, independent, doing fine on their own. And that's why it worked, because they were both in that energy of, yeah, completely stable within themselves. So when they come together, they have that, together and I'm not seeing nine of pentacles here they want the ten of pentacles which that's what it is but yeah I'm just a little bit worried I know mm, that they think that you know being with you in something stable is going to heal the issues they have with that broken healing that family, the family issues, but I think, 
I don't. I don't. I think they need to heal that within themselves first. Mm, seven of Wands, Five of Cups, yeah. The Chariot and the Empress, yeah. Yeah, they're defensive because, yeah, they're defensive against it, the naysayers and against anybody pointing this healing thing out to them. The disappointment. Yeah, they're defensive at looking at the disappointment that they need to look at within their, their self, whatever it is that the issue is they just want to charge forward triumphantly and the empress grow something with someone have an abundant beautiful you know expanded life you know have everything wonderful but the empress is all four queens in one and in order to become the empress she had to get to queen level with all four elements. And it's not just, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, it's not just committed to someone else, or the King of Pentacles, it's committed to yourself as well. So, yeah. But anyway, I, yeah, they're a bit defensive about looking at that and healing that. I think they're looking for you to... Fill the void of, you know, uh, look, you're wonderful, Taurus, but I don't think their intentions are coming from the... I don't think they've got bad intentions either, but I just... Mm, just a bit... Mm, they can't rely on someone else to heal them within what's... They're having problems with them within, within themselves. That's not fair on you. Is it for you to be responsible for that? All right. Give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. It's not up to someone else to fill your cups or, you know, make you feel happy or make you feel stable. I mean, you don't want someone that makes you feel unstable, of course, but... You know, you need to have that stability within yourself. So, yeah. It's self-work. <laughs> Healing could be the one. To recapture that spirit of fun in their life. So they can heal themselves. But it's a playfulness. Um, so they're playing with the idea that healing this, they've got to find the one. But it's a game. Because they think that will, you know... Heal them, but they actually need to heal themselves. Anyway, okay. Clarify card number one for the love energy. Coming towards Taurus, please. But like I said, I don't feel there's evil intent or they're negative or anything like that. I just, yeah. Card number two. Okay, so, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, I just think it's, they're putting a bit of responsibility on you. Card number three. Oh, while you're waiting, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, it be awesome. Is that flipped? No, I'm seeing things. All right. So they've got Crystal Cave, Trust. Yeah, I, they definitely have trust issues. Yeah. And the Hangman, yeah, they're stuck. The world's upside down. Yeah. 
Yeah, the trust issues within whatever it is. I mean, family has come up twice. It's just left them hanging. Yeah, their whole trust is upside down. It's it's it's. Yeah. Well, they trusted someone and that person walked them straight into a noose and now they're hung upside down, straight into a trap. So their trust has definitely been broken. Wise woman of the grove, Grace. This has been coming out a lot, this card. We have Four of Swords, okay. Queen of Wands. Three of Wands. Ace of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so they want things to move smoothly and gracefully. This healing set, you know. Healing. That they need to do. I think being with you, hot, sexy, you know, independent, strong, loving, because queens are loving, that's the difference between the king and the queen. Um, loving energy will help to heal them. The passion, a love and passion with you. But they're waiting before they offer this passionate beginning, passion to begin, because they know it'll most likely just get them left out in the cold. It's going to leave them with nothing if they just go all in with the passion. They know you, you deserve a stable, something stable to begin with. Grace. They know they need to heal, but they are very turned on by you. They know they need to wait, because if they come in gung-ho, using passion to try and heal themselves, it's going to, yeah, they're going to be left out in the cold. So, yeah, they know that they need to, yeah... Let this unfold naturally, but they're fighting that. Bear spirit healing, there you go. I told you. <laughs> Ugh. Healing, healing, healing. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, they're in a lot of confusion right now. An illusion. Two of Pentacles, yeah. And that's why they don't know what, yeah. They need to get themselves balanced. <sighs> yeah, because cause they're, they're very confused. Oh, Seven of Pentacles. I was thinking that was Seven of Cups. <sighs> yeah, looking back over the past. In what they've invested in before, what they've grown up with, whatever this <coughs> issue is regarding stability with their family unit. They're reviewing that and trying to balance that out. They need to balance that out, whatever that is. Whatever is, however they've grown up, planted seeds that have got them to where they are now. They need to balance, they need to heal that. They know that. They know they need to heal that within themselves first. They want to let this unfold naturally, but <coughs> see the healing's a burden for them because they want this. Yeah, they want to be strong and start something with you, but they know they've got to wait until they heal. Bottom of the deck, standing stones passage. Pine Spirit Purification, 
Moonlight Enchantment Magic and Foggy Bog Patience. Yeah. 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 They know they've got to go down walk down that path of purifying this energy that's not sitting right with them here. They think it's going to take magic or a miracle or, you know, magically it'll just disappear, but they're, they're, they're learning that it's not magically going to just heal itself. They're, they've got to be patient. They know. Which is all there already, things I've already said. The Emperor. Hmm. Six of Cups. Yeah. Seven of Wands. And the strength card, yeah, I think once they feel once they can get it, get control of themselves regarding the past, they'll be able to stand up for themselves, regardless of all these other things that are niggling at them from the past, and they'll be stronger then. They'll feel strong enough. They know they've got to get control over these issues of the past. That they've been, yeah, defensive and fighting against doing. Because it's, yeah, they know they'll be stronger once they deal with it, but... Mm, uh, so, yeah, as much as they want things to unfold naturally and to call you in and have all this begin... Yeah, they're in two minds because they want it to happen, but they they know it's not the right time because they've still got trust issues that are hanging over them. They've got family thing, whatever it is, something about the stability, long term stability, or family being that family's here. Yeah, they know they've got to get control of whatever it is from the past that's affecting them, so. Yeah, they think your energy will heal them, but that's not the answer, and they know that. Alright, give me at least three cards for what the, this love energy would like to say to Taurus, please. Wow, that was quick. All shot out at once. Excellent. I need time to heal. Yeah, they do. They do need time to heal. But they're worried they're going to miss out on you. Hmm. I can't wait to see you again. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they love seeing you. They want to be with you long term. I keep looking at the King and Queen of Pentacles. Like, they want that. I know I messed up everything. Yeah, they feel like... They've messed this all up because they haven't done the, some healing, whatever it is. Just, we've got family here twice, I'm thinking it's family, but it could be something else. Something within, yeah, to do with them settling down with someone. Perhaps having a family or something, yeah. But they feel that, yeah, they know they, they've possibly messed this all up because they've come to you at the wrong time. And please don't contact me, yeah. Which isn't what they want. They do want to hear from you and be with you and all that stuff, but they've got to heal first. Yeah, they can't wait to see you again, but they know things are messed up right now, so... It is probably best if you don't. As much as they would love to see you and be with you, they've got to heal first. So, yeah, I'm not over you. Don't think that, yeah, because they don't want you to reach out that, or, you know, they're no way near over you at all. I'm keeping you a secret. If it is family issues, they don't want you involved in that. I want you back. I still love you. Wow. I think they're keeping you a bit of a secret from themselves as well. 
because they know they've got to do this healing, but they're not forgetting you. No way. They want they want this with you. They're coming back. They still want this love with you. They want this love with you, Taurus. But I think, yeah, you both have to just be a bit patient here because they've got healing they need to do before they can bring in anything to you. And they, you know, this is good. It's if they, if they, if you know, they know they need to heal this trust issue that they have with possibly commitment. Although the hierophant's not out, but yeah, with with the family dynamic or the stability dynamic, and they want to heal it before they come to you. Let them do it. Let them do it. Because they will come to you as such a better person, such a better energy. Yeah, and they don't want the past to affect you. That's why they want to get control over their past with the Emperor and the Six of Cups. They want to get control over that past because they don't want it to affect anything between you two. All right. Let's get a message for you, Taurus, from the universe. Close this out. What does Taurus need to know? Oh, you got lots. I just let them come out. Whatever comes out, that's what your message is meant to be. So, all right. Some get one, some get more. So you've got the pole star, which is the star card. I'm hearing that song from, you know, Saturday Disney when I was young. Um, when you wish upon a star. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing that. So, make a wish. It's also healing, but I'm getting make a wish. I'm hearing that when you wish upon a star song. So, I oh know there's cards going everywhere. Sorry about anyone's OCD. <laughs> Ace of Stones, the foundation of life. Look, Ace of Pentacles again. A stable beginning. Make a wish you're getting your stable beginning. Four of Stones, protection. <coughs> Which is four of Pentacles, but it's different in this deck. Protection. So stability, we can... Other, some decks, all fours are um, stability. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so you've got protection here. Three of vessels, joy. <coughs> oh dear. Celebrations, joy, happiness. And king of bows, Anna. She's the king of wands. Ah, uh, control your passions and your actions. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, because your wish is coming true here. A stable beginning is coming. You are protected. Enjoy this when it comes together. So for now, just control your actions and your passions. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Bottom of the deck, oh, look at that. Queen of Stones, which is the Queen of Pentacles, which is the bear. Mama bear. Yeah, so be you. You just be you, Taurus. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, just be that awesome you, Taurus. Stable, grounded, beautiful energy. And that loving energy of the queen energy, feminine energy within. Everyone's got masculine and feminine, so, yeah. All right, I'm going to have a drink after this and stop this coffin. <laughs> but, yeah, I think, yeah, everything's turning out good for you. you just got to control yourself. <laughs> Don't try and rush this. Let them do their healing, all right? And then everything will work out fine. 
Okay, well that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be nice in the comments. And thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.